today's Retro Spot, we are having a look at the Kenner The New Batman Adventures Night Striker Batmobile. Contains a hidden missile launcher and, and, down below indicated a custom decal kit. So you can customize this Batmobile any which way you want. This Batmobile was depicted from the later Gotham Knights or the later reimagining of the Gotham or Batman animated series. And actually, you know what? Even though I love the I love the original animated series Batmobile, I really loved this Batmobile. This probably was my favorite Batmobile of the animated line. Uh, some nice artwork, by the way, as well. You can see there's Batman, there's Robin. Robin's just kind of going, yeah, Batman! And Batman's really driving. He doesn't let Robin drive the Batmobile. We all know why. He's just going to wreck the car. On the top, contents, one vehicle, one projectile, custom decal kit. You can see down here, see up here, somebody has taken the liberty of just turning the Batmobile into a big garish mess. Did Spot do that? We'll find out. Uh, hood flips 180 degrees to reveal hidden missile launcher. Figures sold separately. On the back of the box, you've seen the TV series, now collect your favorite Batman heroes and villains. Batman Crime Solver. The world's greatest detective Batman has used the secret Bat computer to develop amazing new sleuth gadgetry known as Dynamic Decoder Gear. The state of the art equipment reveals hidden clues left on figures and their packages so that you can team up with Batman and his heroic companions to save Gotham City. Other figures that you can get, I know a long time ago Spot had a lot of these figures. Uh, Detective Batman, we've got Crime Solver Nightwing, Crime Solver Robin, and down below, Mad Hatter. If you were around at the time that Mad Hatter was released to retail, you know, oh you know, how much of a peg warmer Mad Hatter was. I actually remember going to a toy store, and they had about 40 Mad Hatters. Nobody was buying them. Nobody! If you were to set your retro time machine back to buy this set item, you would want to set it back to 1998. On the side, also, Batman speeds through the streets of Gotham City in his ultimate crime-fighting machine, team up the dynamic duo by putting Batman and Robin into their cockpit together. You'll also see, too, in this picture right here, they're not quite sitting together. Batman and Robin are sitting back-to-back. Batman drives, Robin gets to look at the back of the car, which is absolutely nothing. Um, other cool features, which I will get into when we get this opened up. Uh, we have the hood flips 180 to reveal the awesome missile launcher hidden within the engine. Then fire the Night Strikers Batmobile missile to take out the most diabolical criminals in Gotham City. Check us out! You can go to www.hasbro.com. What I am going to do is take a break, I'm going to get this out of box, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Spot's favorite Batmobile, the Night Striker Batmobile. Don't go anywhere. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. And when, when you get this out of box, you have yourself a gorgeous, gorgeous vehicle. Definitely by far my favorite Batmobile of, of them all. I think what I like so much about it is because it was sleek. Sure, the original Batmobile was neat too, but it was very clunky. It looked more like a tank. It was a variation to the Tim Burton style Batmobile. But I really like this Batmobile because the front grille, the front end of the car, had just that, that shape of a bat. And then you had a full black vehicle. Nothing, nothing on top of it, no colors, no additional anything else. It was just a sleek vehicle. Which then goes back to what I was talking about with the custom decal stick. Oh, and actually, you know what? Let's zoom into that as well. I like to even, there's a little bit of dust on here, but you like, I like to the fact that there is almost the indication of a bat face, a bat head down at the bottom there. Aside from the headlights and aside from the tail lights, Spot has put nothing else on this vehicle. Well, actually, that's not true. I am lying. I did put the stickers on the inside there as well, but... I put nothing else. I didn't put the crazy little bat symbols on the on the spokes there, and I didn't put the big stickers on the sides. 
None of that. None of that. I kept my Batmobile nice and pristine, making it look exactly like it did in the in the cartoon. And it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. It does roll fairly easy. Uh, on the underside, you can see the missile launcher, which we'll get into in a second. And on the back. Um, it is shiny. Unfortunately, it does show, uh, you know, dust, hair, if you've spilt something on it. Fingerprints, I'm sure, show as well on this as well. On the inside of the Batmobile, we'll just flip this up. You can see there is the, there is, there we go, there is the console. I put some stickers in there as well. That's it. That's all I did. That's all the stickers I put. You can take, now I don't have a Batman, unfortunately. Isn't that remarkable, eh? You would think somebody, you think of all the things I've reviewed, I don't have a Batman handy. I actually do have, that's not true, I do have a Justice League Batman right there which I haven't tried putting them in because I know the capes sometimes are problematic. Let's see if I can fit Batman in. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Try moving his hands out of the way. No, he's not going to fit. Oh, blast. Well, I also did happen to bring in a Robin. Uh, that's, there we go. This is an actual Robin from the line. It should fit. You know what, for the sake of this, let's give Robin the chance to drive. Probably not the best idea, and I'm likely going to regret it later, but let's give Robin a chance to drive the automobile. Close the dome, and you can see inside, hey, there's there's Robin, right down there. Don't get into trouble, mister. Uh, as, for the, as for the one gimmick it has, it only has one. Uh, this whole top piece here, the whole top shell of the car. There's a little lever right here, just a little lever. It's hair sensitive, so you have to be careful sometimes. I'm surprised it actually didn't open while I was doing the review of it. But you're gonna take the the little lever, see that right there, right here? You're gonna slide it back. Just take your finger and just slide it back. When you slide it back, it flips this over. It basically just rotates the the top area of the car over, and now you've got a firing missile. Little bat symbol missile. You're gonna take this button right here, right here, and you're gonna fire it, and it fires off this bat symbol missile. Very cool, very cool indeed. I'm almost inclined just to leave the missile off, but you know what? You don't see it anyways. Slide that back into place, and then you're just gonna take the car around. When you get to about here, that's when you wanna pull this back again just so it clears and then lock that back into place. But you see there's very little catching catching the top of that car. Very, very little. There's just this one notch here. So again, if you're not careful, you just happen to bang it, you see it, 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 it deploys very, very easily. And lock it into place. I wish this could have been springed, like it had a little spring in it, so when you pulled it back it would automatically lock back. So there was no risk that it, it would always catch the front of the car. But it doesn't do that. That's all right. Definitely love this vehicle. Um, it's it's not large. Now, I just uh, I reviewed the Street to Sky Batmobile from Batman Beyond. It's much larger. It's, you know, it's about here. The, the Batmobile, this Batmobile is a much smaller, much sleeker version. It still would take up a lot of room on a shelf just because it's more wide. It's a much more wider vehicle, but it's definitely my favorite Batmobile. It's just got such a an edge to it. Love it. Love it. I wish I had... You know what? I so wish I had the stickers. I don't think I had the stickers at all. I think I... I threw them out. I threw them out when I realized I wasn't going to use those. But there were two different headlights. I think there were two different tail lights, And then there was all this other debris that you could put all over it. I wish I, had, I wish I could have kept that so I would have showed you guys the different stickers you could have chose, but I'm happy with the ones I picked. I might maybe have used the different headlights, but you know what? All things considered, I'm very happy that I didn't put crap all over it. That would have ruined this vehicle. Keep it black. Keep it pristine. This is the way to go. You want to get a Batmobile? Unfortunately, it won't accommodate so much the, Bat, the Justice League figures, but I guess it could 
if you had a Batman without the cape, you probably would fare better. Even though it doesn't really accommodate the Justice League figures, it's definitely a, a fantastic vehicle and one of my personal favorites from my collection. If I could give it a rating, I'm going to give this Batmobile a 9. A 9. Today's Retro Spot, we were having a look. We were having a look at the Kenner, the Batman, the new adventures of Batman, well, the Batman adventures. We're looking at Knight Striker Batmobile. Just a beautiful vehicle. Love to have it in my collection. And I think, I think you should get it too. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, Batman!